rolling and action. <laughs> another episode of Richie Reacts. You know what I'm saying? Hey, when you see Ken Doll in here, when you see me in here, you already know we watching. It's the Idol, episode three. Um, bruh, so first off, you already know how I felt about episode two. That song at the end, I ain't stopped playing it since I left here the last time. There's another song on there, Devil's Paradise. The whole soundtrack is crazy. Like, it almost make you forget this nigga trying to start a cult. Anything that you took from like the last episode? Um... It just got crazy, just like you said. Like it got crazy. Yeah, it got it got crazy out of it nowhere. Crazy. Like just it like did. as soon as like yeah, as soon as um Cisco got them Wesley Snipes from Demolition Man, as soon as the nigga with the blonde hair just started singing the song that we thought she was randomly singing on the piano, right. I knew this shit was a plan it was from the a jump. Setup. I was like, oh shit! And like you said, bro, the best Rainer figured that shit out. Right. For real. For real. Definitely. Down and then speaking of the other best friend, the dancing best friend, mm -hmm. been plotting from the start. That's her whole nigga. Yeah, I don't even know if I said it, but like somebody <laughs> in the comments said, like that first episode when that picture went viral, mm -hmm. it was Shorty that did it, like mm -hmm. the dancing best friend that did it, like, and that makes sense. Like it just like when sense. you think about it, I'm like, yo, that was. A I don't even think that's her best friend. I just think that's somebody like that she like did to it. Exactly. So, yeah, I don't think that's yeah, that's not her friend. Mm. That's not your friend. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. But before we do, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Whole lot more on the way. Bro, it's a whole lot more coming. But here we are now, the idol. Episode three. Oh my shit. This must be that night after. Good morning, Angel. Get up. This nigga got a do-rag. A do-rag. <laughs> <laughs> There's an avid do-rag where I'm, I'm, I'm surprised, bro. Feet kicked up. Who driving? Mm, of course she's driving. Oh yeah, shorty sure driving. Bro, this is where all the promo pictures come from, from that back seat. Right. Okay, hold on. Okay, see? More heat. Ha! <laughs> hey! You need to slow this motherfucker down. You understand? I almost spilled my... You feel like there's other jobs for me. Right. I don't got to be driving y'all around no right. wild shit. Where the fuck is Cisco from Demolition Man? That part. After she just got her coochie in the back seat of the car. We already had this conversation about wild, like great things right after Wild X. <laughs> she don't want to mess with like back seat action. Hi. Welcome, man. Cheeked up, double cheeked up. On a Thursday afternoon, hella ass. The sun is still out, man. Anything in the store is beautiful. She is smooth. <laughs> oh God. Oh, oh my god. You like it? It's so fucking sexy. I'm gonna fucking tear this right off. Sir, sir, you ain't bought it yet. Relax. Just this with heels? All you need. Josh, we're gonna try these shoes out. Who paying for this? You guys are cute. He just, he just real talkative, right? Um, he's great. He's been with us for a while, yeah. Hey, that kid. This is a beautiful top here. I think she'll like this one. This nigga get jealous quick, bro. Catch you looking at her. Mm. Let me catch you looking at her again. So this is what they be talking about on Twitter, but this is the video I've been avoiding. It's like I, I, <laughs> bro, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, bro. Me personally, wouldn't let that shit happen to me though. No, they got the Avengers on three way. What does that mean? He's taking over the house, Leah. Well, this morning, okay. I'm sitting in the kitchen, and I'm talking to Andreas. He's taking control of the house, like mentally. What did I just say? I'm running the show now. Bro, this is episode three. Bye, we're getting this one. It's like, bro, she not peeping it, bro. All he doing is just, bro. Love bro, he feeding her senses, bro, and like working in the shadows. This shit is crazy. Mm -hmm. nope. I'm trying to tell you. You got mind control over Debo. Sit your ass down. You got mind control over her ass. Do you mind not groping my girl? Well, they're both gastrointestinal doctors. So. My friend's a gynecologist. You don't see me sticking my finger in everybody, dude. Well, it's only episode three. She's snapping on everybody. I don't care okay about what this creep just fucking did. Oh no! Is she just gonna sit there? Is he wearing her robe? I don't know if this is the right fit anymore. Child. Just five minutes ago, you were just. Nah, it's alright. It's alright. Get the fuck out of here. 
Whoa. Nah, bro, we just had to throw hands. And then I don't know. Because who was Buddy? I don't give a fuck about Cisco behind you. Call the paparazzi himself. I've Whoa. heard. I've heard those. I heard big motherfuckers do that shit. Call paparazzi ahead of time right. before they pull up somewhere. Right. You want my children to grow up without a father? <laughs> is that what this is? Hank, why, why would I wish that on anybody? Right now, she's making me have IBS. I'm fucking shitting more blood than a kid at Epstein's Whoa. Island. Has she ever let you? Why do you like picking her clothes so much? Hmm. Just need some taste. That's you know what I think it is. I think you're gay. Ooh. He wanted to slap her ass. It was a very long pause. <laughs> well, in the dressing room. Did they pay for the clothes? I mean, tell me that she's throwing away world class sinner. The only fucking <laughs> she's song that's out. actually selling the fucking turn up the car radio very loud. Really loud. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm right. sorry, it's hard to hear. We're at the <laughs> Oh my god, why? <laughs> <laughs> bro, shout to them, bro. Like, bro, they be looking out. And this bitch. Wow. Bro. That's the best. That's my best friend, is it? That's no. the clerk. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Figure it out. Whoa. <laughs> Bro, the clothes are right there. But the clothes are right there. Get the fuck out of here. Did he just... I'm just so perplexed. Bro, so when is this... When, when did, bro, so The weekend getting killed off his own show. This nigga got to die. Here we go. Mm. Oh, they got to cover. Ah, shit. What's up with it? What's up with it? Come on now. Woo, the glasses. You better not lay one hand on that black lady. Come out here smiling, looking stupid. The whip go crazy. Then he just. Destiny. That's a that's a character name. That's so heard. disgusting. I'm starting to not like him. Oh, I I think that was the point. Do we owe this good fortune? I mean, where are you from? Man? You grew up in Hollywood? Yeah. Wow, me too. Here we go. No shit. Here we go. Yeah. Cause they know he's from Hawaii. Now you see now, you know fucked up, you know that, don't you? I wasn't the best student. Why are you trying to like make him feel bad about getting kicked out of school? We're trying to figure out what school he got kicked out of. Kanye a college dropout, but I bet you'd tell you which one he dropped out from. To be honest, I was kicked out of school too. The similarities, you man. Got kicked out of <laughs> the similarities, oh, man. Why? Beating fake ass bitches ass. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Auntie. Beating fake bitches asses. What's the next step here? I'm gonna really synthesize some of my ideas. Not to sit with dollar words when you don't know what the fuck you talking about. Read it with Mike Dean. Mike fucking D. Mm, Mike fucking D. Is what is needed. I mean, he's the greatest. I know you're having a good time here, but can you fucking focus with this guy? Nobody fucking believes in you right now. Whoa. Well, I don't know. She has to know the truth. Hey, I'm freaked out. She's freaked out. If you're any sense, you would Nigga, I'm scared. Because it's doing. You got a nigga in a tracksuit and a fucking ponytail behind right. you. Right. Okay. Now, what's up? I think our girl's in trouble. Yep. My grandmother said you never trust a dude with a ponytail. Never. What in the world? Is she just like, girl, you can't go in the other room? <laughs> I mean, it is a common area. Oh, I know, but what the hell? She's just staying there. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. So he's just a distraction. So I'm really trying to figure out his angle here, bro. While she's doing her song. Look, 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 look. What? Miss Sue. She got the shit, same shit on she had last episode. Wow. So is he trying to build her up or is he trying to tear her down to build her up? And look at her ass just lollygagging around. Them shoes is cute. <laughs> Why don't you sing about your mom? Like it's like not something anybody wants to hear. See, and this be the fucked up part. Because it be like, yo, it be sometimes I be like, this shit do sound like it's beneficial for. Mm -hmm. It's covered under a whole bunch of bullshit. Right. Just a lyric every once in a while, like a secret. Nobody has to know. Yeah, you're right. Nobody has to know. Mm. Just you and me. <laughs> Oh, I think their relationship is genuine. I like it. I think mm. it's cute. I'm getting sister wives vibe. Oh, she do that shit. Right. 
at the doggy. The dog in there the whole time? Mm-hmm. It's so cute. He just be, bruh, these characters, they just be she's popping up in the episode. And I'm just like, where they, they was here this whole time? This house, like she's in all the walls, all the windows, and all the mirrors. She remind me of, of Zendaya's character in Euphoria, like dealing with a parent's death and like pretty much spiraling. Because Zendaya's character was spiral like in the drugs and shit. Mm-hmm. I think right. she's trying to spiral into companionship. Great direction fucking sucks with Jocelyn. Right, let's say you had carte blanche, right? What would you do? I would take that photo with the fucking cum on her face. And I'd make it her album cover. Ooh, well. You're fucking smart. Wanna do some coke? What? Yeah, y'all, it's about time to go, y'all. Time to go. <laughs> Talk to the truth. He's singing that shit. Who the fuck is that? I don't know who these people are. Burr, you ever seen that Rick and Morty episode where motherfuckers and characters just, just kept... Up. Yeah. Six of us. Me, Morty, Jerry, Beth, Mr. Poopy Butthole, Frankenstein, Sleepy Gary, Photography Raptor, Mr. Beauregard, and Summer. Uh, Dad, that's like 10 people. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? They just kept popping up. Sing with me on this next one, then. No. By saying no, you're denying yourself an experience. That's one of the most... Terrible experiences in life can be the most valuable, like artistically. The most terrible experience in life can be the most valuable artistically. Right. Fuck. They yeah, cook it. Sure. How often are we excited about some bad shit happening to R and B artists? Adele got divorced. We knew that shit was gonna go crazy. Because of that, you'll say yes to anything anyone asks you to do. Yes. Mm-hmm. Isaac, get up and kiss Ramsey. They probably be doing shit like that all the time. Who the fuck is that? I don't know. That's the producer. Would I kiss you? No, that's yeah. not a good idea. <laughs> Why? You know, Tedros would fucking kill me. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Oh, oh. oh. speech. Fit. When my mom bought this house, it was so big that I was always afraid it was going to make me feel lonelier. Um, she didn't even buy the house. What did her mom do? Thank you for coming into my life and filling it with music and inspiration. Aww. So, Aww, Joss. Finding your family. To finding your family. You're my, You're my family. So, so best friend is chilling now. I'm, so, oh, it's getting confusing. So Xander had a brilliant idea today. Ooh. Yeah, he did. If your lovely label is so fucking obsessed with making you a bad girl, we should take the photo with the mm-hmm. cum on your face. Mm-hmm. Not the yeah, I know it was me. Why? Because she had she she needs so to calm many young girls look up to you. Oh my god. Yeah, and they've all probably seen the photo. They've all definitely seen the photo. Oh yeah, black children went crazy with that one. There is no difference between the people making fun of me and the people supporting me. Mm. They're all capitalizing off of it, mm. and they're just driving more people to look it up. Mm. That's- Fuck, they cooking. Cook that nigga! We can make the caption like "new music coming soon." <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. It's fire. That's hard. It's fucking fire. Yeah, I don't mind it only because of how she looked. I'm just glad, you know, she don't look like one of us. I I want to be taken seriously. Why? Because I want to have a career that lasts and is meaningful and and isn't like a fucking joke. And you will, Joss. You will. Trust me. No, not if she doesn't take risks. Mm. Why are you talking to me like I'm like new to the music industry? I'm not. You are. Mm. True. Mm. Mm. Girl, you wish it. No, no. Ooh. What was the last song you wrote, Jocelyn? Ooh. Daybreak. 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 Oh my god. Daybreak on your second album. Girl, shut up. That's my favorite. Shut your ass up. That's my favorite song. That's how she sounds. You ain't wrote a song in 18 months. Hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? I mean, I don't think that's like a big deal. Like, I, I think it's got to be the right song. You mean the right risk. This is a good conversation. Maybe that's why you can't write a song. Ooh. Yeah, because she's fucking overthinking everything. Ooh. So, I think if I didn't care what people thought, I wouldn't have a career. I think if you care too much... You won't have a career. Period. How can you complain about making superficial music all the time? I'm sorry, I don't think it's superficial to want to make music that connects with Why people. she always look like she about to cry? I thought it was coming too. Why don't you just be yourself, Jocelyn? Bro, this conversation. There's nothing about me that's relatable. Hey, bro, I hope I'm giving motherfuckers enough right. reaction content, but I'm locked in. Her mom was like a rare breed. What did her mom do? Right. How so? I don't really feel like talking about it in front of everyone. 
too late. <laughs> you can stop talking. I think I speak for everyone at the table when I say that. You're safe here. I promise. You're safe here. This nigga has a blonde eyebrow. Well, a blonde get, eyebrow and a black eyebrow. I'm gonna get a blonde eyebrow. <laughs> um, she did a lot of things. Her favorite was probably hitting me with a hairbrush. Hitting you where? No one said anything. No. They let her tear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How hard did she hit you, Jocelyn? Hard enough to break skin. Jesus Christ. And you felt like Xander was there for you? Bro, what the fuck is this angle right now? So you. You miss it. Getting hit? The motivation it gave you. Sometimes. It's nigga a therapist. Oh, yeah, you look tired. I think you should take her to bed. Yeah. Right. I feel like he not gonna make it to episode four, bro. If he not, somebody not. All that trauma. You gotta turn it to inspiration. You're gonna face it. You're gonna remember it. And you're gonna let it wash all over. You still got that hairbrush. I knew it. This nigga was on some revert back to the pain. He makes stars, that's what he said. She kept the brush. She was, bruh, I that's seen that brush. brush earlier. What's so oh, some new heat? So who, what's this? Take me back, take me back. What are you doing here? Take me back. Say, go pick out a switch, Bob. Where do we go from here? Kiss me with the I love this song. Look, this shit go crazy. Why they keep cutting back to Buddy though? Like, what is happening with Buddy? Right. Thank you for taking care of me. Broke. Well, I mean, in a way. She completely different from the episode where she, I mean, the part of the episode where she was having a conversation with them about y'all can't say no. Mm-hmm. Like, no, nah, she wanted them now. Mm-hmm. That's <sighs> fucking crazy. I understand it though. I understand the concept. Like, sometimes in order to bring out that pain because it's really beautiful because I know like when I'm doing music and I'm singing sometimes you have to go back and you got to feel the shit you was feeling in order for it to create like something like beautiful from somebody who has songs from pain pun intended no pun intended <laughs> writing from pain is a cheat code and when I say it's a cheat code it's just because you're gonna get the best results from pain if you keep trying to draw from a place of pain you're gonna like it's gonna be nothing but pain and then it's gonna be like you don't know what's real if it ain't pain you gotta learn how to but, turn it on and turn it off right like you, like you gotta learn how to like embrace it when it happens mm -hmm. and like not keep trying to draw from like past trauma and shit right. just to get like some shit but when pain happens you know how to do it exactly like this episode really kind of show why cults are successful sometimes because there were good parts there were parts where like she started to break down the understand of herself but to revert back to a place of pain just to, to do that, I feel like that's where she gonna fuck up at. No, because, and I have to disagree with you on that. Mm -hmm. Only because, like, she's been stuck. Like, a lot of times in life, you're stuck. You know what I'm saying? You don't, it's like, you can't write. You can't write. You can't, everything is failing. Everything is, you know what I'm saying? And, and right. the only thing that is going to help you is for you to stop running and actually, you know, face it and that. live it and like you know like feel it again so that you know what i'm saying then that's when it's like okay maybe right. yeah, maybe she got to go back through it to right. get through it then, but once you get through it you shouldn't have you shouldn't go back to it yes no but she she barely got right well, yeah not, she's not through it yet right yeah. and which is why I like this <laughs> particular situation like uh -huh. in this moment at this time i just don't know might work out for yeah i just those people earlier was like you don't you don't say no around buddy right. like i bro and she was like when i when i heard her like talking mm -hmm. shit like don't say no like y'all niggas like, wild what? right and i'm like okay okay she ain't broken yet but it was like the moment like they were right. just sitting there toward the end i was like when she was like thank you for taking care of me i was like she wanted them more. Look how freaking talented they are. Look how, like, he really does me. I mean, now I'm not gonna, like, say it's right for, like, you know, because I gotta, really see, what, I gotta see what her credentials are. Right. So I ain't seen goddamn Wesley Snipes from Demolition Man do nothing yet. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> well, I mean, yes, but most he's, sensible thing he's he did was bad, it was bad to homie. Like, right, but he's preparing him. Like, he's preparing him to. Like, some things also take time. Like, he's also very strategical. I can tell, like, the way and how he moves and, like, you know, the way that he does things, how he had everything in place. Like, this, this nigga was, like, had a strategy from the start. Because, you know what I'm saying? The best friend, like, 
So and I, that's my I thing. Is like it. if it was genuine, he wouldn't have needed a plan. But how do we know if it's not genuine yet? I don't. We don't, think we don't know yet. I don't, I don't know, but know I don't know if it is genuine. To me, it just don't feel right. I've seen motherfuckers with with hella ulterior motives, and he still got the best friend like right. well, on the draw for us, like shit, like in his hand. So it's just it's, he got a whole lot more up his sleeve than he's saying. Like we still ain't seen Mike Dean and anybody that get too close to her. Great. Right, okay, let's talk about. This nigga, the weekend character, mm -hmm. Tetris, whatever, bro. Yes, Tetris. This nigga, hella, <laughs> hella insecure. Like, hella insecure. Like, right, the fact, like, bro, anybody that's looking at her too long, he getting too jumpy. I'm like, bro, right. that's just, right. nigga, True. that's not giving strong, like, within your within your position. Like, True. bro, you can already moved into the house. I don't right. give a fuck who you talking to before me. You done got me in the house. Right. I'm good. As soon as goddamn uh, Haim and Aunt D came through, the nigga was just real, like, oh, yeah, da 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 da, -da. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm from L.A. Bitch, you from Hawaii. We already figured that shit yeah. out. But, okay, we, yeah. And yeah. then, but, like, they was just, like, but they didn't want to alarm her and, like, right. cause, like, a rift. Mm -hmm. They, bro, the crazy part is those two know her better than she know herself right. and knew not to, like, Definitely. cause any commotion on the spot right. until they got it right. But, yeah. like, yo, I'm super interested in seeing, like, what the fuck <laughs> they finna do behind the I'm scenes. I'm so excited. This show is but, amazing. Yo, bro, I feel like, honestly, the way cults work, I feel like something positive will come from this. I don't think it's this. a cult. I oh, no. They all, it's a family. He, like, done moved in, he done moved seven people in that house. Well, I don't think it's a cult. I we think had a whole total I recall throughout the episode. Like, who was that? Who was that? Who was that? Like, know, they all but, at the house. Well, I wouldn't call it a cult, though. I would say genuinely, these people that he have, like, that he has are broken in some sort of way. And... He has helped them in sort some sort of way because all look right, at so them. Well, look right. how talented they are. So you look in the how, club. You in the club, yeah. and the owner of the club is is hollering at you from across the room, like, and they like, yo, da 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 da, and then boom, you wake up. Not only is he in your house, but it didn't happen but goddamn that way. seven, eight motherfuckers it in your house. It didn't happen that way. It was some steps. It, it was two took. visits. It, it was, was but visits. it was some steps though. It was a, it was a different connection. It was two visits. It was a lady jumping in the pool. It was um. There was but some head involved and then a lady about. on the piano. Why don't you look at the bigger picture? I get the bigger picture. It's just like, <laughs> it's, it's, interesting, it's interesting to see where this is going to go. Yeah. Like I said, the, yeah. and that's yeah. what would be successful about like these type of groups. Yeah. Like, it's like some good come of it, but at the end of the day, like, they just going to be into those, like, don't say no around so-and-so. Right. Like, and that, bro, as soon as I heard that, I'm like, yo, this is where we going. Right. This, they kissing each other and shit. Like. I ain't going to, no. <laughs> I think I'm confused. I think I'm just confused as to where this is gonna go. I feel like it's gonna go up, and then it's gonna crash somehow. Like I feel like it's gonna hit a height, and we're gonna be like, "Oh shit, they up there!" And then I feel like damn. Jocelyn is gonna hit a height, but I feel like everything else is gonna crash. Yeah, in the process of her hitting her height, you yeah, in the yeah, process of yeah. her hitting that mountaintop, everybody else is falling off the cliff. Mm -hmm. You got a whole different view of this, cause like yeah, we still gotta figure out what the fuck best friend got going on. Right. You still got to figure out how to fuck, talk sex with Miss Sue. It's been going to change this whole shit over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We still need to figure out what the fuck is this nigga's entire plan. Yeah. Because, like I said, with all of this that he's doing with her, he still got best friend on the back burner and who she, is living it. She in there doing her song, doing <laughs> right. the video doing and all shit. of that. Like, he, so it's just like we're really trying to figure out what the fuck is this nigga's endgame. If you I'm got thoughts, in. definitely throw them in the comments. Yeah. Uh, we back at it next week. Uh, bro, it's been another episode of Richie Reacts. Yeah. We got Ken Doll in Kendall, here. Ken Doll, Ken Doll. Man, <laughs> this shit crazy. But yo, we out. Thank you.